friends and welcome back to my crafty space. In today's video, I am going to be project planning using the Good Morning Kit from Paper Person. I am so excited to dive into this kit and figure out the different kinds of stories that I can tell about our mornings or just about life in general. Really quick, in case you don't have this kit or you haven't seen any of it, let me just show you what came in the kit and then also what I got as add-ons this month. So the kit came with a stamp set here. It is the Good Morning stamp set. So it's got a bunch of different numbers for times and then a bunch of different titles for things that you might do during the day. Then it also has a chipboard sheet, which I am super excited for. This one's really, really fun. And you guys know that chipboard is one of my favorite types of embellishments. There was also a sheet of alphabet stickers here that are this lighter teal color. And then there are two 12 by 12 papers that have cards on one side. So these are the cards on the one side. They're all three by four cards. And then the back side has a rainbow type of diagonal stripe. The next one has four six by four cards and then three of the three by four cards. And then the back side has this really fun blue, almost rainbow looking paper with some geometric pieces in the back as well. Then we had, I think, three additional papers that were in the kit. Yes, three additional papers. So we have this one that says uh, Monday through Sunday, weekend, afternoon, night, morning. So a bunch of different day type of sentiments. The back side is a really awesome blue and yellow and corally pink floral. Then we've got this blue and almost tealy blue uh, sort of geometric circle shape. And then on the back side of that one, we have some, they look almost like white daisies types of flowers for a floral pattern. The final um, page that came in the kit was this one, which is red. Um, I probably should have told you what the names of these. So one was Friendly Daisies, one was this week. And then this paper that has the red geometric and the back side is a multicolored geometric. This one is turning circles. In addition to the kit, I also ordered this one um, paper. This is the flesh, flesh, fresh flowers paper because I loved the large yellow number side on the back. So this is what I am tending, I am intending to use this paper with. I also grabbed the four uh, solid cardstock colors that coordinated with the kit. I don't have a ton of colored cardstock, so I've been working to build that up a little bit by grabbing these add-ons for most of the kits that come out. And then I did also get the full stamp set or ink set that came out in addition to the large numbers. These are the downtown numbers and I have already used one of them, um, but you know, there is the sheet of those. This is a six by eight stamp sheet and they're really fun, really fun, really big. Okay, so that is just a general breakdown of what is included in this kit. What I am going to do is a couple of things. I am going to punch out all of the chipboard pieces here because I like to use them singly. And then I'm also going to go ahead and cut apart all of these cards for these two papers because I like to work in pocket pages. So having cards works a little bit better for me. And then once I have that done, I will come back on here and we will start to go ahead and project plan a bunch of different stories that this kit can help us tell. Now that I have all of the cards trimmed out and ready to go and all of those chipboard pieces punched out of the backing, I am now ready to get to work project planning this kit. So the first couple of cards that drew my eye were these two up at the top. One is uh, caffeinate me please and it's all about your coffee or your tea that you drink. And the other one says I woke or I got out of bed for this. Those immediately made me think of all of the coffee that I drink and how that's like my most favorite thing at the beginning of the day is to wake up, go and pour myself a cup of hot coffee and sit down and sip on that for the morning. It helps to wake me up and it's just like one of those soothing things that you do every day. So I set those to the side immediately because I loved, I loved that idea for a story. Next, I have another pile there at the upper... Uh, right hand corner of the screen where you can see there's a blue ledger card. There's one that's got a bunch of multicolor alarm clocks. And then I also love 
that diagonal uh, rainbow stripe. I thought that that would be a really fun grouping of products along with the uh, chipboard piece that says, so not a morning person to talk about the fact that I am not a morning person and that I'm trying so hard to be a morning person and then like epically fall off the wagon and then get back on and then epically fall off again. So I thought that that was also a great opportunity to tell that story. In the middle there, I've got um, a pair of cards that one just says documented and the card behind it is a rainbow. And then there's one right next to that with the one through five on the blue stripe lines with the sun behind it. I thought that those were really great cards to use for a more general type of storytelling. Because they're not specific to mornings, they could be used for any type of story uh, about any person in our family. So I'm thinking I'm going to use one to help me tell a story about my daughter and then another to help me tell a story about my son. So I'm trying to come up with some additional cards or patterns or chipboard pieces that I can use with those specific products to help me tell that story. I've also pulled aside the card that says breakfast favorites as well as a diagonal stripe red and yellow card and then the um, skillet with the two eggs inside of it. I love the idea of using those to talk about our weekend breakfast and how my husband and my kids every weekend get up in the morning and make breakfast together. So I want to uh, highlight that event, that weekly event, using those cards up there at the top. And then I've also got a pile to the left side of the page that I'm thinking about using for a project life spread. So for now, I'm just setting those over to the side. I will also set over to the side any of the chipboard pieces that I think would go well in a project life spread and then uh, kind of going from there. So now that I have these separated into story piles or ideas for stories I can tell with the different products, next what I'm doing is going through all of these chipboard pieces to try and give them a home of where I think that they could belong. I like the idea of using the morning routine pink chipboard piece, it's, it's fairly large, as a title piece for the journaling card with the I'm not a morning person spread. I also pulled out the chipboard piece that had the breakfast label on it with some croissants because I thought that that would go well with the breakfast story. So I'm trying to keep those sort of matchy matchy type of sentiments together with the stories that I think they would go best with. For the two stories in the middle, I like the idea of using those larger titles. So I've got the Good Morning World, which again could be a morning story, but it could also be just a regular everyday story. We'll see where uh, who where storytelling takes us with that one here in a little bit. And then I've also got the Rise and Shine title with the sun, um, the products that have the sun card. So um, ultimately. I will choose to tell some morning type stories with both of those because uh, with my son, he is always the first one up in our house. And then my daughter is typically one of the last ones up in our house. So I thought that it would be fun to tell a story about that particular thing for each of them. With the chipboard there that you see in my embellishment tray, I noticed that I had a bunch of these rectangle shaped, almost like tiny phrase chipboard stickers in a rainbow of colors. So I thought it could be really fun to take those and literally put like six of them on a three by four card just in the center of it to create some kind of um, like feature card where, where it doesn't have any journaling on it. It's literally just a decorative card using all six of those colors. So I have them in a sort of rainbow color. I will ultimately uh, rearrange it just a tad bit, but I'm thinking that that would be a really fun way to use a bunch of those chipboard all in one go where they could also help me to tell a story. And then uh, for the coffee story there, um, I at some point, I had put those cards over in the Project Life pile thinking like, mm, maybe there's not, like it is a story I could tell, but maybe I could just add that in with Project Life. But then there was the coffee pot chipboard piece. And there is no way 
that a coffee chipboard piece is not getting its own story. So I pulled them back out and I stuck that there. And then I also put in the chipboard piece that says the best part about waking up uh, because, you know, hello, that's totally a Folgers commercial from back in the day. Probably still a Folgers commercial even today. But um, that chipboard piece could be used for nothing else except for a coffee spread. So that is where it, that is where it's going. Now, I have a couple of pieces here that I am struggling to find a home for. The one that has a circle, it's like a yellow and then an orange and then a red circle. I, am, I don't remember what it says underneath it. Maybe here comes the sun. I was having a really hard time fi figuring out a place to put that chipboard. I will not actually figure out a home for it during this video, but eventually when I take all of my stories to the computer and start to pull photos and tell the stories for all of these, I will actually find a place for it. So that makes me pretty happy that I do ultimately get to use that. From this entire collection, of products this month, there are only three chipboard pieces that I won't use. And I will show those to you here at the end. So I'm really proud of myself for being able to find a use for so many of these products this month. Once I had all of those chipboard pieces set out and where I wanted them to go, I did pull out all of my pattern papers to see if there were any any of those papers that I wanted to cut into maybe a background paper or into a journaling card or anything like that. Um, so you'll see here in a few minutes, I will pull out my, actually, I won't do it here. I think, I think I pull out my trimmer as I'm actually sketching out these different ideas. Some of these I needed to place around on my table just to see like, okay, so if I add all of these things around here, then, um, you know, how am I going to make these work? This was a cool idea I thought of. I ultimately don't do it for this spread, but most of these chipboard pieces match the colors. So the rainbow of chipboard pieces match the rainbow of the three by four card. So you could totally layer them up here in this diagonal, just like that, or in some way to represent the rainbow. Unfortunately, there is not an orange one. So it's all of the colors except for orange, and that made me a little bit sad. I wonder if I would have had an orange if I would have done, if I would have done that, like just layered them up on top of the rainbow like that. But for me, I think it bothered me a little bit that it that there was an orange and I had a missing color for my rainbow. So I decide against that, and I will eventually. Um, put it on a different card and see how that works. So I'm just playing around with placement, trying to figure out what story am I going to add the rainbow chipboard pieces, these ones to, and here's how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to add them onto this polka dot card. And I think that looks so super cute. And then I also am trying to decide what papers I want to add with which of these stories. So for this one, I... I'm going to pull over the paper that's got like all of the colorful geometric shapes on it and it's got a red pattern on the back. I could honestly go with either of the patterns. I think either one would look good, but I also think that the red helps you to helps to draw your eye to some of the colorful elements whereas having this colorful side maybe feels a little bit overwhelming. So I'm not totally sure. When I when I trim that piece out, I have the option of using either side. So it's not a big deal. You know, I, I know I'm going to use one side of the paper, just I'll figure that out at a later point in time. So now I am getting ready to go ahead and start sketching some of these projects out. Um, some of them I did want to just pull out and make sure that I had all the pieces that I wanted. Um, this one, I have a few more chipboard up in the embellishment tray that, I'm, that I would like to add to a story. And I believe most of them or all of them I'm going to add to this one because this is the story about not being a morning person. There were a couple of alarm clocks, which I thought was funny. And then there were like the, hit the snooze button and the phone with the snooze button and like all this stuff about snooze buttons, which I am... I push this news button way, way too much. Like I need to just stop it and make the decision to get out of bed. It's just so hard. It's just so hard because I'm just, you know, I am such a night owl. The problem is not that I don't like the mornings. 
you know, the problem is not that I don't enjoy waking up early and getting stuff done early. The problem is that I um, I so easily stay up too late and then it's hard to wake up in the morning. So that is the problem is that I am a night owl and my night owlness stops me from being a morning person. If I could nap like every day during the middle of the day, I probably would be fine and could do both, be a morning person and a night person, but not a day person. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably super silly. Okay, so now let's start sketching out the ideas for these spreads. So for this first one, we're doing I'm not a morning person. So I'm going to do some kind of full page photo. And then I'm thinking about adding the two circle embellishments, which are, I believe those are one inch circles, and um, having the phone in the middle. So some kind of cluster there on the bottom. I do not know why I drew the other side this way. Because <laughs> I hardly ever use the pages that look like that, that have the four by six on the top and the two three by fours on the bottom. I don't know. So I drew arrows to remind myself like opposite, opposite um, <laughs> orientation. And I want the two on the top and the one on the bottom. It's just so funny. So I'm thinking I will take the stripe card there and add a photo on top of it. So have the stripe just be kind of a mat to my photo. Then using the blue card to add my journaling, having the morning routine and the two little alarm clocks on the side of it be my title. And then to have the alarm clock card there with the I'm not a morning person chipboard be almost like a title card for for that spread. And that will essentially be the, the whole story for that one. So that one is going to go in my story album for our family, uh, which is where I house any stories about me specifically or my husband or our family just in general. So that's where that one's going to go. Next, I've got the spread that is going to be about breakfast, making breakfast um, for Aaron and the kids together. I am going to take the skillet there and trim it out, turn it into an embellishment and put it on top of the red and yellow striped card. Then I'm going to take the breakfast favorites, fill that out. I most likely will add my text onto it using my computer and then pair that next to a three by eight photo with a couple of embellishments at the bottom. I have some page protectors that have the divided three by eight windows. So I'll just stick the two three by four cards down inside of a three by eight um, pocket. And then I'll have the photo be in the pocket next to it. Those dividers or those page protectors I get from Allie Edwards in case you're looking for something like that. So that is that story. For the next one, this is going to be about my daughter is what I decide to use this collection of materials for. So I am going to use the large pattern paper. For now, I have decided on red. Um, I have not at this point in time put this spread together, so that is subject to change, but I do think I like the red the best anyway. So I'm going to use a pocket that has um, three of the, not three, that has four of the three by four card spots in it. The one I'm going to use with the rainbow and add the good morning world, that's going to be my title card. Then I've got the documented card below that, that will be for my journaling. And then I'll have the decorative card with the rainbow of chipboard next to that, leaving one spot open for a photo. And then I'm also going to create some kind of photo that will be matted by the pattern paper from the background. And I think that that will be pretty fun. So I'll probably print that photo at maybe six by eight or a six by 7.75, something in there where it gives me a nice healthy border around the photo. So you can see that there is some color behind that. I think that will help to bring some more of that red color to the right side of this page as well. That story for, for my daughter, Isabella, um, I'll put into her six by eight story album. This next one is going to go in um, a traveler's notebook. So I have a traveler's notebook that's just for random stories. And it's just fun for me to play with different size albums. So I like to keep a list of all of the different albums I'm working in. That's what you occasionally see me pull over and check off some boxes on. Uh, that just helps me to give myself some variety of places where I can put things. And then ultimately, if I'm telling stories that are very similar, whether it's all about coffee or about 
mornings or whatever it is, you know, you can find the different stories in different albums. And if they ever get split up those albums, then the likelihood of some crossover of stories is pretty high because, you know, I don't mind telling similar stories and I like putting them in all the albums. So why not? So for that story, that's going to be all about the coffee. I trimmed out a piece of that yellow paper to a traveler's notebook size, and then I'm going to create a flip up with the cards. So that's basically what I sketched for that story about my morning coffee. I'm thinking I'll just get a picture of my morning coffee and print that in a traveler's notebook size for the opposite side. So next, I am working on a story for my son. I'm calling this one Rise and Shine because he is always the first one up. That's what the story is going to be about. So I'm going to use a divided page protector to put in all of those cards there on the left side and then have a full page photo on the opposite side with um, maybe some embellishments or something at the bottom of the page. Then on the left side, there is a little sun chipboard piece that I really like the way it looks in the middle of the sun. So it's like a sun inside of a sun. So I'm going to put that in the three by four pocket. I will use the blue stripe card as my journaling card. And then for the rainbow stripe, I'm thinking I'll add a photo on top of the stripe there and then um, put the embellishments down on the side of that. I may also decide to do some stamping on the photo that's associated with the spread there, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that for now is all of the stories that I had divided out into groups. The other thing I wanted to do was pull over some of these pattern papers and see if there was anything else, any other stories that I could tell with the product that I have remaining. One of the thoughts that came to me was taking the floral paper that you see there and fussy cutting out the florals to use as embellishments for some kind of page. I really wanted to take this month's product and figure out a way that I could tell a story with a 12 by 12 canvas just because I'm enjoying that size a lot right now. And I already have planned a whole bunch of six by eight and uh, a couple of smaller size um, projects with this kit. So I wanted to do something that was a little bit grander in scale. So I have this paper pulled aside and what I thought I could do was to create a spread about my bathroom supplies. So there is that card there that says bathroom brands. And then there's also a chipboard piece that has a shower head with the water spraying out of the shower head. And I thought that that would be such a fun story to tell about something really different um, and a great way to use those products that I might not actually use inside of my project life spread. So, you know, a great way to just use up more and tell a random story that I definitely wouldn't have told otherwise. So I'm grabbing over some of the cardstock here, trying to figure out how I want to mat a large photo. Right now I am uh, using it with that floral paper, but ultimately what I'm going to do is create a very large photo that will go on the right side of this spread. I just want to see like what does it look like to have a little bit of blue popping out from some other colors or green or pink and I, I ultimately like this blue color the best. I don't know if it's just because blue makes me think of bathrooms or um, because it's like I don't know water is blue and all that stuff or if it just goes well with the cards that I've got selected but either way I like the blue the best. For a second I thought about maybe not doing a bathroom themed page and instead using the stamp set to create maybe a timestamp and then doing a page about something that happened at a specific time of day. Um, but I like the bathroom brands idea so much better. So that is what I'm going to go with. I will keep the circle that says have a nice day with this spread just because I like the way that the color mimics the color of the bathroom brands card. And then, um, and then we're going to start sketching this out. So this is going to be a <laughs> definitely a different type of 12 by 12 spread and I'm super excited to put it together. So this is probably the project that I'm going to do for this month's uh, Patreon video just because I think it's it's unique and I, I think that you guys would enjoy it and I know that I would enjoy putting it together. So that is what I think I'm going to do. So here's my idea. 
I'm thinking about taking a photo of me holding a basket of bathroom supplies. So getting all of the things that I use based on the card prompts there, which say things like shampoo and body wash and skincare and scent and like all of that sort of thing. So I'm thinking about pulling out the products that I use that relate to all of those prompts, putting them inside of a basket and then taking a picture of me holding that basket. So I'm just doing a rough, rough, a very rough sketch of what that would look like on a photo. Then I will mat the photo on the left-hand side with that, with that light blue textured cardstock and then add the cards down the left-hand side of the spread. So I'm thinking I will do the green that says good morning to you at the top, the bathroom brands at the bottom with my journaling, and then uh, the shower head on top of the blue stripe. As I'm looking at this, I, I don't like the idea that I only have that little card to add journaling to. So this sparked the idea of what if I made all of those elements that are in my basket interactive where I could pull them out and put additional journaling on the back. So I wrote that down as a side note of like, maybe try this. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I'm going to try it. I'm very excited about it. For finishing up the spread, the last thing I wanted to do was fussy cut out some of those florals to add them to the bottom of the basket, which lets me use up a bunch of that floral paper, which is also one of my favorite things from the whole kit this month. So I definitely wanted the opportunity to do that. For the Project Life spread, this is the last thing I've got here. I know right away that I don't have enough cards to do an entire spread of, of Project Life. So the first thing I did was to pull everything over that I've got left. And then I also grabbed out from my stash some of these labels. These are from an older Kelly Perky kit. Um, I pulled out some labels where the colors went nicely with the kit here. So I'm thinking like that large pink label could be a placeholder for my dates for the week. And then I could also use the circles as maybe some journaling on photos or something to, to that extent. So then I am going to pull over those pattern papers that I have remaining to see what other cards or what other papers can I cut down to create more journaling cards for my spread for the week when I do this. Some of these I will probably print off journaling that is slightly smaller than a four by six and then have it, um, you know, have a mat of the pattern paper behind it. I love the look of this floral um, with the other patterns that I have there. And ultimately what I will do is select colors and patterns that are a little bit more spring-like you know so some of the papers in this collection are super bright and almost make me feel like summer and some of the papers in this kit make me think of spring they're like light and dainty and they've got flowers and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to use the lighter materials the stuff that feels a little bit more spring-like to help me tell the stories for whatever week of project of project life that I decide to use all this product on. So that is essentially what I did there. So um, like I had that little strip of floral left there. I thought that could create a nice title for a journaling card. I um, There's this stripe here that's the multicolored stripe and then the multicolored small geometric shapes that I feel like don't go very well with what I already have set aside. So those I'm going to add into my stash. This one right here is the daisy paper, which I think goes really nicely with the product that I have. So I'm going to take that, cut a strip of it into, cut a four inch strip, and then divide that in half to create two four by six cards. Um, and the back pattern works nice as well. It's the, you know, tealy colored polka dots. So that, that'll work really nice with the colors of the spread too. I also have the opportunity if I want to later to trim those down even further into three by four cards, but I feel a little bit safer keeping them right now as four by six, just in case. So here are all of the cards. I'm going to flip that one over because the yellow works nice too. I have some labels and then I have a bunch of chipboard pieces left that all have colors similar to what I want to use in this kit. 
you saw me try to bring over that um, here comes the sun chip port again just to see if it would work in there. And again, it's like too bright. There's something about it that's too bright. The last thing that I thought about with this spread that I could do to help me create some of my own journaling cards is to take the stamp set, which has all of the timestamps and a bunch of different titles for what you might be doing at different times of the day, and to create my own journaling cards with stamping um, to help me tell the stories of different things that happen during the week. So maybe I'll take photos throughout the week, but then when I print them off, I'll pay attention to the time of day when those photos were printed and use that as my jumping off point for my actual journaling for the stories in that particular week. All right, friends, that completes my planning process for today. So out of that kit, I was able to pull out a total of six projects or six stories that I can tell in addition to one week of project life in my 9 by 12 album. So the supplies that I did not use, I have four remaining chipboard pieces. These I'm just going to put for now into my stash. Um, I can see where I would potentially use morning news at some point and maybe even morning workout at some point. Carpool day isn't necessarily something we have a lot of around here because our kids are very young and we're still at home and we're just not really doing carpooling. So that might go into a donate pile um, or I might just keep it and paint it and do something with it. And then the Here Comes the Sun chipboard. I really loved this, but I couldn't find a use for it in the stories that I decided for for this time. So this one I will also just put into my stash. And then I do have some remaining bits and pieces of the paper. So I have these two that I cut into three by four cards that I'll just add into my three by four cards stash. Um, this I probably honestly won't keep, it's pretty small. And then I've got a strip of this red and the um, bright pattern on the back. I've got a more substantial strip of the yellow numbers with the floral on the back of that one. A more substantial piece of the daisies and then that polka dotish background there so these I'll put in with my 12 by 12 pattern papers and then I also have the three additional colors left here of the textured cardstock so these I might stick in for now with my 12 by 12 project just so I have them set aside in there or I might just go ahead and put these in with my other solid cardstock colors so I'm not sure yet what I'll do with that but those are the pieces that I did not use this time um, that will go in my stash or are things that I will end up donating. So just so you guys know that. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how all of these story ideas came to fruition. And then uh, I will be back again tomorrow putting together one of the spreads. I just need to figure out which one I want to do first. And then that is what... Um, what I'll go ahead and do here. If you guys have any questions about any of the stories or any of the products, let me know in the comment section down below. And then in the post that accompanies this video, I will also have close-up images of all of the story sketches in addition to the products that I will be using inside of that storytelling as well. So if you want to see more details on that, you can find that in the post with this video. All right, with that, I will go ahead and sign off for today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, friends. <laughs>